We're up on a north northeast aspect of Snodgrass where yesterday someone triggered a small slab avalanche. We're calling it a persistent slab avalanche because it broke on those weak fold grains right on the ground. Um, you know, pretty small pocket here. It's about 10, 12 feet wide. A couple characteristics that are not noteworthy is that it failed on a piece of bedrock. So that weak layer, even though it's literally right on the ground, it's like half an inch thick. It's continuous across this whole feature because of the smooth underlying surface. Um, we've been highlighting that you need an area where there's been some kind of wind loading to, to form a denser slab. Almost everywhere you go out here on Snodgrass, the snow is really weak and sugary, but right up here is kind of this little wind exposed feature, so it probably had just enough hardness to form a slab. Uh, another characteristic is this is an unsupported rollover. So it's a kind of a stubborn triggering situation here where you know a lot of terrain you wouldn't get a problem, but because this rolls over, it's an unsupported slope. Uh, you, you can get this thing to pop. Uh, relatively, again, harmless avalanche, unless you're in the wrong type of terrain where you could get dragged through trees or something like that. And we've been highlighting this problem on high northerly aspects. So that's where these ingredients are most common here. We're kind of below tree line. It's got a very rare exception to what's generally a stable snowpack going on um, at this elevation right now. And looking ahead, um, we've got clear, clear dry weather for like the, at least probably the next week and these types of concerns will gradually become less and less of a concern as the weak layer adjusts as the slabs continue to facet away and um, generally a, a already an isolated problem but continuing to become even more isolated and, and probably unreactive by the end of the week. <laughs>